welcome back to the channel. It's Leanne here. If you're new to my channel, you're very, very welcome. Uh, today I've got a shopping haul. So I did an online Sainsbury's shopping haul. Hold on a minute, the dog in. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I've got a Sainsbury's online shop. Um, I don't feel I have a lot for the money. However, um, many of the items that I've actually got were actually really quite costly in themselves. So that's where it's kind of bulked up a little bit. Um, can't remember the prices off the top of my head, so I will pop it on the screen because I need to look it up again. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to crack on with the shopping haul. No particular order, they're all just in front of me. So, I'll go with this one first. It's a bit heavy, but it is the Butcher's ooh, Lean and Tasty Dog Food. So there are, how many in here? 12, I do think, 12 tins in here. Um, I'll do this one next so I can get them over there on the table out of the way. And I also got two, blimey, so two of these, so two of the waters. Um, these are Sainsbury's own, I believe, are they? Yeah, uh, yeah, Sainsbury's own. Um, the still water, 500 mils per bottle, 12 and a pack. I got two of those. I think the dog food was like. I mean, I'll confirm, I think it was like £10 something. Uh, puppy pads for, for everyone who knows me, if you don't know me. Um, I do board dogs in my own house, and so sometimes there is the accident. You know, some of the dogs are old, some of them are very young, some of them are just naughty. No, they're not naughty, they just can't hold on. Um, but yeah, there's the old accident, so I do put down quite a few puppy pads just in case. Um, and these are the 100 from Sainsbury's, but they are the pet face ones. Um, I find these actually really, really quite good. Uh, they used to be £13, but I can't, I'm not sure if they are still 13 but obviously I'll pop it down the screen. Right, I might as well get a lot of the householdy bits out of the way, I think. Um, a kitchen towel, so this is just one of the jumbo kitchen towels, and I got two of those. Um, other householdy bits, of course, this bumped the price up. I needed dishwasher tablets. These are the Finnish Powerball Ultima Plus All in One um, Sparkling Lemon Fragrance. And I haven't tried this particular, I've had loads of the finished ones before, but not this particular one. Um, so I'm hoping they're going to be good because I, the last lot of dishwasher tablets I used, the Astonish ones, I thought would be brilliant because a lot of the Astonish range is, they weren't very good at all. So I've had to bump the price up and get something a little bit more decent, you know. Um, other household bits, okay. I've got a mega pack of bowls. This is the five in one. No, it's not. It's the all in one uh, stain removal and the built in linen softener. Lavender and chamomile. 51 washes in this one. Um, so I didn't get any fabric conditioning this time. I thought, let's just. I mean, normally I would use this and still pop a bit of fabric softener in, but that defeats the object. So I'm going to go just try this on its own again. Just went to get my coffee. Again, sort of like bits and bobs for the home. So I got some of the drawstring scented swing bin liners for the kitchen. I meant to smell of uh, citrus. Very, very faintly, I suppose they do. Um, some black bin liners. And I've got some more. Oh, here they are. These are just like the little scented pedal bin liners for upstairs, like in the bedrooms and the bathroom. Can't smell a thing. <laughs> um, this is the dishwasher salt that I needed. Possibly for the last actual thing for the house is uh, some toilet rolls. So these are the toilet tissues that double, they're like the double rolls. Um, so you've got four in here, yeah, but it equals eight. So that's quite a good buy. Um, okay, let's just get through the rest then. 
So I'll just take things from here. So the bread I've got is, this is actually our favorite sourdough bread. So um, this is the white sourdough bloomer and it's the slow fermented starter one. Very, very nice. They didn't have it for a little while. So I was forced to like go and have a look at other ones and they just didn't, they weren't as good. Um, a ginger cake. So, the, you know, the old Jamaican ginger cake, the McVitie's one. This is really good to have as like a little pudding. So if you pop it into the microwave for just like, say 30 seconds or something, it goes all sticky on the top and then you can pop ice cream, cream, a custard with it, you know, whatever you prefer, or just eat it like that. Um, I've got a bunch of fair trade bananas and this is the quadruple orange and mango squash. Lasts forever because it is four times the strength. Just trying to think if there are any substitutes. Oh yeah, there are. Um, I'll get to them in a minute. Two packs of paracetamol, if you know me, I tend to always get those. Um, got some garlic and coriander polka dumps for tonight for dinner and this is also for tonight for dinner uh with Sainsbury's they call it a giraffe stick instead of tiger stick it's giraffe <laughs> giraffe bread so we've got that tonight as well so tonight well yesterday i cooked up some chicken and i've made a um like a satay chicken sauce to go with it. So I did it all yesterday. I've had it stored in the fridge. I'll reheat that again tonight. And um, I'm gonna add some basil and some hot chilies to it. And then we'll have that with some salad and some giraffe stick. Yum. Um, I've also got some Philadelphia. So this is the garlic and herbs. Uh, this is the rocket for tonight. So these are like the little leaves, the little rocket leaves. Um, right, so these are the uh, the bird's eye chili, uh, chilies to go with the dinner tonight. Um, then I got, I must get one of them here. Yeah. So I think, I think I've got two of these. There must be another one somewhere. Let me have a look. I must have just got one then because I can't see two of them. Um, so this is the black pepper salami slices and I've got some large vine tomatoes then the flora plant based butter um, retails for around about two pounds everywhere uh, Sainsbury's and Asda had it for a long time for a pound but now it kind of depends on which supermarket oi girls it uh, changes you know um, this was actually one pound fifty on offer in Sainsbury's, so I picked up four of those. I've got four, it's three, four. Here we go. Is the other one? So I've got four of those. Come on in, Bess, Olive. Um, then I picked. I ordered one of these salami and smoked cheese. So this is if we have like sometimes like cheese and crackers and those sort of meats, you know, and I'll make some coleslaw or something. Uh, dog treats is a fair few because we have so many dogs coming through right now. Um, so if this is the first time that you've seen any of my shopping hauls, the, uh, I mean, our dogs have dog treats and a lot of the dogs come with dog treats. Some on the other hand don't, but I do ask if they're allowed to have any and if it's okay and what type they're allowed, then of course, you know, I buy them for all of the dogs. They're very spoiled. <laughs> very spoiled so i've got quite a lot because as i say it's very busy right now um so i got a pack of the baker's sizzlers meaty treats the good boy chewy chicken with carrot sticks their favorite um the little pedigree tasty minis and their night night biscuits uh, training treats. Now these I didn't order. These were, must have been a substitute. Are they the chicken ones? Yes. Um, so these are written chicken. I ordered the little donut shaped ones, but they've substituted them with these. And I do make sure that I have a, I do not substitute with anything with rawhide on all of my shops. A uh, little mini log bones. Um, Baker's 
double flavor wireless. Quite a lot, I say, didn't I? Uh, cheesy chicken uh, sticks. Two of these, these last quite a while actually. They take a little while to eat, so they're, they're a very good buy. Um, and these are the good boy crunchy chicken and calcium bones, but there isn't any bone or rawhide or anything like that in it. And then last but not least, with the dogs, I picked up two packs of these. These are pound for six, and they are the um, they're the Webbooks. There's six sticks in here. Um, and they're just like a tasty little treat. Or sometimes what I've done is, you know, if they don't fancy eating or something, or they don't really particularly want all their food, um, I might just chop one up in their food and they soon pretty much wolf that down, guys. Um, eggs, that was a substitute. I ordered a dozen free range of eggs and I just substituted it for two half dozens because I think we're still getting a few problems with the old eggs. Um, coffee. 500 grams of coffee, uh, I'm sure it's 575 I want to say, but um, yeah, I've been using this for a long time, this type of coffee. I did get a large fresh uh, basil pot, because then I can plant it in the garden. And then last but not least, I got ice cream, which I, I should have done first. Okay, ice cream. Uh, this is the Kelly's um, Cornish Clotted Cream Ice Cream. I'll get that straight in the freezer. All right, kids. Yeah, you are clever, aren't you? You've been good kids. Oh, wow. Maybe you want to get some of that. Then, finally, some dessert for tonight. Oh, I picked up this, or ordered, I should say, this lemon meringue pie which looks delicious and we'll have it with ice cream. Look at that guys, mm, yum, looks lovely, doesn't it? And that was everything that I got. As I say, I didn't think it was a lot for the money, but then actually when I realized how much I'd paid for like some of the individual items, some of the most expensive items that you you pay, you know, when you're doing your cleaning or stocking up on things like coffee, etc., um, it mounts up, doesn't it? So I hope you've enjoyed watching what I bought from Sainsbury's this week. I will talk to you in my next video, whether it's a shopping haul or whatever it is. If you have enjoyed, just having a look at what I've bought. I mean, I love watching shopping hauls because they do really give me a lot of inspiration. Sometimes I look at things and think, oh wow, that's a lot cheaper in that shop. Or I didn't even think about ever trying that. And so I try it, you know, I think, I think they're great for a little bit of inspiration. Yes, so hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye for now then.